<coughs> Hello YouTube. I have been told I'm sorely lacking on videos lately. <coughs> which I get. Some people really want to get caught up on a few things, but I've been busy. Um, I will do a video specifically about the trials and tribulations of my wife's concussion, but right now, uh, specifically going out to Corsair Trainers, um, everything he said is right. I can find very few faults in anything he said. He really does put out some very good, simple knowledge stuff that random people can pick up. Like he talks about the shoulder drops and everything else and whatnot. And as he talks in, a, in an earlier video about uh, situational awareness, you'll understand that he says several times for you right-handed people. So, as a situational awareness thing, does that make you think maybe he's left-handed? These are stupid things that random people pay attention to. How people talk. But... As to, I saw a video, I can't remember who it was, but it was uh, dealing with uh, personal defense, EDC. And they're talking about this, that, the other thing. And a lot of guys, for instance, like myself, now this is one of the crummier ones I have. That's just like my random pocket knife. Uh, if you ever watch any of my videos, you know I farm. That's just something crappy I got to have on me so I can get some stuff done. It is not, well, oh, actually, it's, don't do that. You will cut. Uh, it is actually fairly sharp, apparently. But normally, my pocket knives are pretty beat up. They run through everything. Um, anyways, what I can tell you is, a lot of guys will say, I have a knife for, for personal self-defense. Great. You ain't going to use it. You don't know how to use it. You ain't going to get it out. And if you look at the statistics, ah, uh, foam stuck to my foot. Uh, if you look at the statistics, most people who bring a knife to a fight, the one who brings the knife is the one who gets cut by it. Uh, it's, it's funny and unfortunate, but realistically, what I bring to my everyday carry for personal security, this, this, and my brain. See, I've been in situations where I've had knives pulled on me before, and to be honest with you, um, not the best response, but I smiled because I had to, I, it came out instantly and I'm not saying I'm Bruce Lee or anything by any means. I'm nowhere near that, but I kind of giggled, but I had to try to keep it internally. So it just came out in a smile because if you pull a knife on someone, guess what you're going to do? you are going to try to cut them or stab them with that knife. Me with a little bit of... Mm, let's go with experience. All I'm thinking is, great, all I gotta watch is that knife. That has li severely limited you. Me going, hmm, I gotta watch that knife, pay a little bit of attention to the other hand and the feet. You, on the other hand, have pulled a knife and you're thinking, I'm going to stab, 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 I'm going to cut you, I'm going to cut you, I'm going to cut you. Realistically, I'm not that worried about most knives. Unless this guy has shown great skill with speed, I'm really not that worried because now I'm going to use my foot, my knee, my shin, my elbow, my fist, my teeth, my forehead, Random things that are around me, tables, chairs, glasses. Actually, a really fun thing to do is if you're in a situation and a table's close to you and you can feel the edge of the table with your foot, if you kick the leg, it'll shift the table and they'll look down and that gives you the opportunity to grab them. Stupid fun things you learn in a bar. Or, or knocking it hard enough that a glass will fall and smash because smashing glass is something that everyone looks to. When you know it's going to happen, you're prepared. But, I digress. Um, so, like I say, watch Corsair Trainers. The guy, I can't say I know him great, but he seems to know his stuff. And really is pushing out there to basically just pay attention. Because you can get away with so much stuff in your life if you just learn to pay attention. But, specifically, as I said, people talk about the EDC. The biggest EDC to defend yourself, guys... 
Bring your brain to the fight. Bring your eyeballs to the fight. Just get out there and watch a few things. Don't watch, don't watch movies. Watch some random YouTube videos that they show like the instant karmas. Because the instant karmas are what you always see. The big tough guy puff up his chin just like Steve talks about. And by the way, hands down, chin out. An amazingly great fight posture if you want to get you get end up waking up in a hospital pissing blood. But you guys got any questions or comments, feel free to fire them out. And I know I'm gonna get maybe a couple people that say, I'm really good with a knife. You know what? I'm old and crippled up. 90% of the people that have said that to me, I can drop you in three and a half minutes and you will be crying. And I'm not saying I'm that good. I'm saying you're overconfident when you say you can take me down with a knife. You'll cut me. Guarantee you'll cut me. You won't cut me bad enough that I will. I'm 280 pounds. You ever had a butt helmet from a 280 pound Dutch guy? It's not comfortable. Ask the other guys that have ha had it happen to them. Just pay attention. Don't be overconfident. Get out there and say, oh, I got to think. So don't think carrying a pocket knife. Don't, go, don't make that your first thing. Or pepper spray or anything like that. Just think about the situation. Pepper spray especially because there's cross-contamination. And if you've ever been pepper sprayed, it hurts. Cops aren't even allowed to carry pepper spray or tasers unless they've had it done to them. Which is why a lot of cops won't do it to other people right off the bat because they know how much it sucks so anyways guys thanks for watching and again don't bring this to a fight bring your brain thanks for watching guys have a good night bye